As hard as I tried, there was always one huge gaping hole in background screening systems that I could never figure out a way to close. In fact, our screening systems and all other background screening systems, all security systems in general, are still vulnerable to this very day. This hole literally keeps me up at night, wondering where terrorists will exploit it again just like they did on September 11th when 18 of the 19 hijackers used technology available to virtually anyone to perform catastrophic acts. If you haven't already figured it out, this hole is exploited through the use of a simple fake ID. And it hasn't taken long for other crooks and fraudsters to discover this hole. As a result, ID fraud and theft has become the number one crime in the United States, surpassing all drug-related crimes. The economic cost alone already amount to over $221 billion annually. And that's just the dollar cost we know about. Rectifying ID fraud requires the expenditure of days of work and causes countless problems for consumers. Those costs are not as easily quantifiable, but some estimates suggest they are, are as great as the financial loss. This problem is only getting worse. A recent report by, released by Experian states that this year alone, ID fraud rose 360%. Imagine, nearly half a trillion dollars of loss to use of $50 fake IDs.